Hey, what's up guys? It's Kish here from Porygon Tube, and I am here with a brand new video today featuring the Glaceon Garbodor deck. So, I've been talking to my friends about this deck, and we think it's pretty good. Uh, basically, Glaceon is the new, new evolution from uh, Ultra Prism, and it's got the ability Freezing Gaze. So, as long as it's in the active position, your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX can't, have, can't use their abilities, rather. So, the thing that really makes this deck tick is the energy evolution EV. So when you attach a basic water energy from your hand, uh, you can straight away go and get the Glaceon GX and evolve straight up. So turn one, if you start EV in the active, you can get ability lock straight away for your opponent's EX and GX. Now why is this so strong? Because most decks use Tapu Lele for Bridget on the first turn to go and get their setup. So you might think, okay, you're running Glaceon to stop abilities from EX or GX. Why do you need Garbodor? So Garbodor obviously blocks all abilities, and it will include your own Tapu Lele and your own Energy Evolution Eevee. Well, the reason we run Garbodor is because there are abilities on non-EX and non-GX Pokemon which are very relevant in the format at the moment. So there's Magnezone from Ultra Prism in the new Magnezone Dust, ne Dust Main Necrozma deck. There's Vikavolt in Vikabulu. Uh, there's also Octillery. A lot of big basic decks rely on Octillery for draw. Uh, so, uh, having Garbotoxin makes it so that you have a lot of good matchups across the board as long as you can make the ability lock stick. Uh, in addition, for your opponents uh, to use their EX and GX Pokemon, obvious their abilities rather, they can obviously Guzma around Glaceon and bring something else into the active. But in order for them to use it, uh, use their abilities while you have Glaceon and Garbodor, they need Guzma plus Field Blower to blow the tool off the Garbodor, so uh, they need to have that in hand, and without being able to trade with Zorark uh, or Tapu Lele for supporters, it's very difficult for them to get that. And then even if they do get that, they've played their supporter for the turn, they've played Guzma, uh, so there's not too much else they can do. Yeah, sure, they can trade up and get a lot of cards, but you can end them straight away. So uh, Glaceon and Garbodor, there is some redundancy there in that you're, they're both blocking abilities, but having them both in play at the same time is extremely powerful uh, because, as I said, your opponent needs Guzma to get around Glaceon and Field Blower. Uh, so, with all that combined, it makes it very difficult, very oppressive uh, for them to execute their strategies. So, let's have a look at Gla Glaceon's attacks. So, as with typical Garbodor decks, you just need a decent attacker while Garbotoxin's in play because Garbotoxin is such a strong ability, just being able to block. Uh, your whole your opponent's whole strategy by ability locking them. So Frost Bullet is basically Night Spear from Darkrai, but for Water and Double Colorless, uh, you can hit 90 and 30 to a bench, and it's got a really nice GX attack, Polar Spear GX. Uh, it does 50 times the number of damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. So if you snipe a bench for 30, you can use Polar Spear GX uh, to hit it for 150, plus the 30 that's already on there. So that's 180, and then if you have Choice Band, that's 210. So that's beautiful numbers, really, in this format. 210 is really what you want to be hitting a lot of the time. So, our supporting cast, we got one Tapu Lele, because uh, sometimes you just open with no supporter in hand and just Ultra Ball, but really, Tapu Lele is not super useful. Uh, we have Mewtwo for the Swole Buzzwall, so Buzzwall can run you over if they manage to power up a huge Buzzwall. They can just Absorption and then Knuckle Impact and take like four prizes. So Mewtwo is in there to as a deterrent and also to take out a Buzzwall if it ever gets to that stage. Uh, in addition, we have one Lapras. So uh, Lapras is a great attacker in this deck uh, because it allows you to get that one big one-hit KO, uh, which the deck really lacks. So uh, Glaceon can only hit 90-30, and you can only pull a Spear once, and your opponent can really see that coming a lot of the time. Uh, Blizzard Burn allows you to get that big one-hit KO, 160 plus 30 for a choice band is 190, so you're, you're knocking out Buzz Walls, you're knocking out Tapu Lele's and things like that, so really, really good attack. Uh, we have Aqua Patch to power it up, so it's not too difficult to power it up, and in addition, its weakness is Grass, uh, whereas Glaceon's weakness is Metal, so uh, it gives you weakness coverage in that respect as well, so that's really nice. It also knocks out Dustman and Crossman one hit, so... We run for Aqua Patch. Now you can't Aqua Patch to Eevee, which is unfortunate. So you need a Glaceon in play, or you need Lapras. Uh, we run four because uh, it's actually quite difficult to keep getting energy attachments, particularly when people are playing things like Enhanced Hammer and things like that. 
So your main lose condition is not being able to consistently attack with Glaceon or Leprous. So that's why we run four Aqua Patch. Now you can probably cut down to three if you want to make space for something, but I wouldn't go any less than that because then it's just too random when you get it. Uh, two Field Blower, Blowing Parallel, Parallel City rather, is very important. Uh, Parallel City can reduce your damage and reduce their opponent's bench so they can get rid of damaged Pokemon. So uh, if they play the red side towards you, that really knocks you down to 70 and 10 uh, with your Frost Spears. So uh, that's very average uh, compared to 90-30. So important to blow those. Uh, one Nest Ball is, seems pretty random, but again, your main lose condition is not being able to power up attackers. So it's just another out to get a basic onto the board. Uh, one Rescue Stretcher, uh, probably not super necessary, but it's nice to have the... Uh, the insurance in case you have to do an ugly sycamore early for ultra ball pretty stock standard the ultra ball engine is in every deck pretty much uh, Cynthia three of uh, just a good draw supporter uh, for Guzma is very necessary because uh, you want to be taking out their threats on the bench uh, or at least getting the first hit on a threat on the bench because as I said you can't get that one big or that big one hit KO with Glaceon GX so bringing up something and just getting the first hit on it is sort of like a, a pseudo one-hit KO. You're, you're hitting it before it hits you. Uh, 3N, uh, N's pretty good. <laughs> Helps you draw cards. So uh, we're running basically 10 draw supporters. So uh, you're hoping never to brick. That's the thing about Garbodor decks. Unlike other decks which have Octillery and Zora as their draw engines, with a Garbodor deck you don't really have that. So you need to supplement your supporter line a bit more. Uh, play higher draw support accounts. So uh, I'm playing uh, 3 Cynthia, 3 N, and 4 Sycamore. 3 Choice Ban, because hitting 120 with a Glaceon is super nice. Uh, that sets up a lot of things for 2 hit KOs. In addition, Mewtwo with a Choice Ban can 1 hit KO uh, fully powered Buzzwall. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff happening with, uh, with the Choice Bans in there. And uh, as I said, Lapras can hit 190 with a Choice Ban. 4 Float Stones, because you have a lot of bad starters in the deck. You're only running four Eevees, and you've got Mewtwo, Tapu Lele, two Trubbish, and a Lapras. So you're, you're running five other starters. So uh, you need to get it out of the active spot so you can so you can use the uh, Float Stone to do that. Uh, in addition, obviously, it's a tool for Garbodor. So seven tools is perfect. Never find myself short of it. And the energy count, four DC and nine uh, water, I've found to be a pretty sweet spot. Uh, nine water means you usually get it on the first turn. Uh, and 4 DC just to keep powering up Glaceons. So that's pretty much the deck, guys. Uh, let's jump into the ladder and see if we can get a few games off. Uh, it's, it's a pretty oppressive deck. It matches up really well against Zorak variants because they're so reliant on their abilities. They play low draw support accounts, uh, so you can really punish that. Uh, okay, so it looks like Fighting Psychic. Um, hmm, what could this be? Could be Buzzwall. Uh, Buzzwall is probably the worst matchup for this deck, I would say. So, uh, yeah, it could be Buzzwall Garb, actually. So, that might be a bit of an issue. Because they're a Garb variant, they don't really care about your ability lock, and they usually run Trash Lanch, so that could be an issue. Uh, we might have to see how this one goes. Okay, we mulligan. So, I apologize, I apologize guys. I'm just recovering from a cold. But I was pretty excited about this deck, so I just wanted to get the video out. Um, and I think Garbotoxin is going to come back in a big way. The Duskmane Necrozma deck is just way too strong not to have a check on it. So, And you might think Metal Weakness is bad for Glaceon. Um, and it is. like It's bad, but it's not the worst thing in the world because you're blocking their abilities. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, Necrozma still needs 4 energy to KO you. Uh, they can't do it with a choice ban and 3 energy because they're only hitting 90, uh, which doubles to two to 180, uh, so uh, with the 3 energy attack. Uh, so they still need their 4 energies, and it is Buzz or Garb. Uh, so if they have 4 energies, they're knocking out anything anyway, so Glaceon doesn't really care about that. Uh, but it, it's not a great matchup because they can attack with other things like Magnezone and stuff. But you can still win. Okay, so Ultra Bowling for Tapu Lele. 
So the other thing is this deck is obviously much stronger going first than it is going second uh, because you can get the turn one ability lock. Okay, so thankfully my opponent missed that elixir, otherwise we might have been in trouble. Um, might have to sick him with this double colors. Okay, so let's energy evolution. Oh man, we've priced two Glaceon. <laughs> so that's the disadvantage of running three. Uh, and we've prized a water. Don't see anything else. Okay, Cynthia and a Sycamore. Oh no, Sycamore's in our hand. Uh, we've prized how many Guzma? Just one. Okay. So yeah, we we've, we've prized two Glaceon, so that's really bad. Um, hmm. I might just. Oh man, this is tough. I I don't want a Sycamore because I already have the DC in hand, so I'm just gonna. Take a bit of a risk here and just pass. If he gets Floatstone Max Elixir strong energy, or Floatstone Max Elixir energy, then good on him. But I saw him Ultra Ball for a Lele, and he didn't play it, so that was a mistake, I think. He should have definitely played the Lele if that was his only way to get a supporter. And I think it probably was, because he Ultra Balled for it, so... Now, let's see. Okay, so my opponent's powering up a Buzzwall. So I almost... Don't, oh man, top deck DC is really bad. Huh. I'm just going to have to sick him all here, guys. Uh, I almost don't want to attack this Trubbish until I have another Pokemon powered up. Okay, so we get a Lapras. I'm going to throw that down. I'm going to throw down this Eevee as well. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a Cynthia. Um, before he puts in some ability lock. And I'm not going to attack here uh, because we're just going to get knocked out uh, if my opponent has an energy. So I'm just going to pass and just hope that they don't have a float stone or a way to retreat this Trubbish. Uh, and I think I'm going to start powering up Lapras. It's defensible to start powering up Eevee, but I've lost a double colorless. Mm. <laughs> Tough decisions. Yeah, I think I'll start powering up Lapras. Because we've. Uh, I can't even power up Eevee. We've prized two Glaceons, so yeah, we're definitely powering up Lapras. Okay, here we see the Guzma. Okay, he's going to Jet Punch for the knockout here. I mean, I probably played a bit too conservatively on my first turn. I probably should have just sick and away the DC. Um, so our opponent's got a sycamore and nothing else. Okay, we see a jet punch come down. I mean, there are a few Pokemon. I mean, we can draw the Mewtwo here and get the return KO, so it's not too bad. Top deck DCs, not that great. Put that down. I'm going to throw this down because I don't want to draw into it. Uh, no tools to field blow, so let's just Cynthia. Don't want to give my opponent more cards. Okay, let's get our Mewtwo out. He didn't hit a float stone. Hmm. Uh, let's just go ahead and get Mewtwo out. And let's see. Do I want to hit this for 120? Don't think that's too relevant. Uh, let's just. Hit 90 and 30 snipe. And we need to hope we get a float stone here. We've got four in deck, so I don't see us missing it. But I need to decide whether it's worthwhile to attack with Lapras. Okay. 
alterable. My opponent discards a rainbow, which is great for us. Uh, we need to be aware of how many items we've got. We've got three items in the discard. We're gonna get, probably gonna have to play a patch. Ugh, carving. Okay, so they're playing the carving break. So our prizes are sort of mapped out. We take this buzz wall, this buzz wall, and the lele, and that's game. Uh, but we're gonna be under a lot of pressure here. Thankfully we have an N, so once they knock this Glaceon out, we can put them down to three. Palpad. There's a gob. Uh, hmm. Okay, so he absorptions. Bit of a risk. Uh, okay, we're down two DC, so uh, this is awkward. Uh, let's throw the Trubbish up. Okay, we get an energy. Man, this is pretty tough. Uh, let's just go ahead and attach to Lapras. No, we don't need it on Lapras. Put the choice band on the Mewtwo. Ah, uh, we need exactly Aquapatch and Floatstone here, or a DC. Ah, uh, this is really tough. Um, I think a Attaching here is fine. What happens if we miss? And we just have to pass. Okay. I mean, we're ending them to three. Do I have any more EVs? Uh, how many items have I played? I played three items, so I'm safe to do this. Maximize our odds of drawing here. Get a Trubbish. And let's go ahead and end. Okay, we missed the patch. And let's just evolve the gob, because I don't want to see this later. Um, we'll just have to pass here. So pretty bad turn. I think I was too conservative in my opening turn. I should have just taken more of that hand away and got some more attackers setting up, set up, because I top decked the DC straight afterwards as my next top deck, so that was really bad. Okay. We get a DC, which is not that great. Although we can attack with Mewtwo, so it's not too bad. Okay. So my opponent is taking one prize here with Knuckle Impact. We can of course return KO. Do that. I don't want to give him some new cards. I've got a Guzma here, so let's just psychic for the knockout. Oh. Uh. Okay, so we get a Floatstone and a Glaceon. Not great. <laughs> so, not really showing off Glaceon or Garbodor in this matchup. Basically just using the tech attackers, and that's what they're there for. Wow, so my opponent got got a buzzwall. Luckily we have a Guzma, so we can actually knock that thing out, which is great. Uh, so let's float stone this guy, and this is the real value of Mewtwo. Uh, without Mewtwo, this matchup was just like terrible. Uh, so we can retreat, do that. 
let's attach the choice band now. Uh, bench the EV and let's uh, psychic. Cool. So if we get okay, we got a Guzma. We just need a water energy here, and we can take out that Lele water energy or Aqua Patch, and we're good. I definitely should have. Yeah. Okay, they get a float stone. It's not doing a lot. And he can't attach the energy for carbon because he's got no fighting Pokemon. Oh, he's got himself, I guess. That's good. Uh, so we do not get an energy. How much damage am I hitting here? Let's just evolve this. Okay, my opponent scoops. Let's see it. 60. So I was hitting him for 80. It's not that great. Anyway, so you see the importance of the attack attackers there uh, in the Basel matchup. So that's always a risk uh, with Garbodor decks. If you race ahead in prizes and your board isn't set up, if your one attacker gets KO'd, then you're just out of the game. Okay, so it looks like we're playing against Falk. Uh, this should be pretty good for us. We have weakness on them, obviously, and we lock up all their abilities, so... I don't. I mean, Volt can always win bad matchups. Now we're going second again. Um, at least we start the EV, and we have a supporter, so things are looking good. Ooh, nice gold Ultra Ball. Yep. So. Uh, we could be playing that Kiawe deck. Actually, that wouldn't be too... Yeah, it looks like we're playing the Kiawe deck. That's not as good as Volk. Straight Volk, I think, is easy, but this Kiawe deck can just go off, as we can see here. So, how do we beat this thing? <sighs> Man, they're getting... A lot of stuff here. So we've got the Dawn Wings. Okay. Why did they do that? Uh, let's just evolve. That was strange because now they can't max elixir. They're forced to like Kiawe or something. Unless they're playing an energy switch. Uh, otherwise, they're just hitting me for 50 with Sacred Fire, so that was a pretty strange move. Uh, if he left if he left the hole on the bench, he'd be threatening a KO. Uh, so let's blow these two. Um, go ahead and Ultra Ball. Grab a Trubbish for next turn. A bit risky, but I think I'm more, more likely to naturally draw into an Eevee than I am into a Trubbish. Okay, so let's see what my opponent can do here. Okay, so we're going to detach and just Sacred Fire, so yeah. Okay, that's fine, they hit the Trubbish, get an Ultra Ball, but don't want to discard any of this stuff, so let's just go ahead and end. A bit unfortunate we have to end, my opponent didn't, did absolutely nothing that turn. Okay, and I got a whole lot of garbage, so I might not be getting knocked out. Um, in fact, I'm... Unless they play Choice Ban. But they're already playing Fighting Fury Belt, so maybe they're not. Um, let's put the 30 on the Dawn Wings. Uh, maybe Lele. I doubt we're ever going to see Dawn Wings in the active spot. So let's put it on Lele. 
and I need to draw an EV here. So you see what I said about your main lose condition being not drawing EVs, uh, not having attackers. So I'm going to be pretty gutted if they do have a choice band here. Okay, they're sycamoring. Ninja Boy. What the? Okay, Max Luxa comes down. Can I afford to discard all this energy? Probably. Yeah, so they just hit for 180, so cool. Oh my. <laughs> okay, now I can't afford to discard any of this energy. Top deck the DC again, and so we shall end and pray that we get an Eevee and a water energy. Okay, we got an Eevee, but no water energy. So we'll drop the Leprous. Nest Ball grabs Eevee. Oh gosh. I mean, really? Got like eight water energy in the deck. Like any energy would have done there just to get an attachment in. Um, I guess we'll frost bullet. And does this damage matter? No. No, no. Uh, let's put the 30 here. So unfortunately, Power Heater does exactly 20, so, oh, we can attack. Because we've got Aqua Patch, we've got the Glaceon in hand, great news. So yeah, Power Heater does exactly 20 for the KO. Uh, of course, you can't steam up because I have Glaceon in the active spot. And I'm going to go ahead and, I didn't check if Lele was in the deck. Fear Belt doesn't matter. Got Turt and Bulk. Let's promote the Trubbish. So you see the strength of Glaceon there. We would have got rolled if we didn't have Glaceon. Uh, let's Ultra Ball. Field Blower and Guzma, because I don't know if Lele's in the deck or not. It is not. Of course it is not. Um, and we only have two Float Stones. We prized one. Oh, we've discarded two. Great. Great, great, great. Um, I therefore should not have gotten rid of that Guzma. Oh, but I needed to keep everything else. Uh, yeah, let's just grab another EV. I should have checked if Lele was in the deck. That was my bad. Um... So let's patch. So now they can use their abilities first and then Guzman to get a KO. Unless we draw one of our two float stones. Oh, which we do. The sack. The sack is real. Okay, let's float stone this guy. How do we not have any water in the discard? Anyway, no water in the discard. What else? Uh, let's just. Ross bullet, and we'll put 30 on the Turtonator because that has 190 HP, so we can't two shot it uh, without. Oh, we can't one shot it. Sorry, without 30. Okay, so we're looking all right now. Uh, there's no way that he can KO this at all uh, because of the ability lock from Glaceon. So very strong. We just body bulk. Uh, but the Kiawe deck can beat you if they have choice ban. Because they can choice band a ho -ho and then knock you out. And then that's a lot of pressure to deal with. Okay, so we're probably going to see a Nitro Tank come down. Okay, Shell Trap. Shell Trap. Gonna get KO'd on the following turn. Um, let's see what's in 
deck. We got the stretcher for the Glaceon, so that doesn't matter. We got nine energy in deck from the 23 card deck, so and six draw supporters. So of our 23 cards, 15 win us the game next turn. Okay. So done. Stretcher, Glaceon, and we'll patch onto it. Oh, we cannot patch onto it. I did not realize that. Again, we do not have water in the discard. Okay, let's get these two. Maybe beta field blower so it doesn't blow the float stone. And we can frost bullet. And let's just put 30 on Ho. Oh. Okay, so one of our prizes is Tapu Lele. Hey, we got it. Okay, so we should be pretty good here. Of course, anything can happen with N. Usually these aggressive decks play very low or no counts of N. So they've already used one N. And obviously they can't lay lay for it because I've got Glaceon in the active. So my opponent just deciding what to do. Uh, he does have the N. Sweet. Uh, we got time though because he can't one hit a Glaceon. Okay. Top deck a Glaceon. Can we top deck DC one time? Or Sycamore? So we got time here, because we can't Volcanic Heat. I mean, theoretically, he could win on the next turn. But it's fairly unlikely. Okay, so we top deck the DC, and that's just game. So you can see the strength of Glaceon just shutting off. Uh, bulk steam up. Of course, it's uh, without that, it's probably 50 50 to be honest because they've got energy acceleration and can KO you. But with the ability lock, they, they struggle to one hit KO you. So let's see if we can get one final game in, maybe against a Zorark deck, hopefully, or something which uses a lot of abilities. So I really haven't got the combo, I haven't gotten the Glaceon and the Garb together uh, because I haven't needed it. And also, I've been drawing very weird hands. Like at the end, we had nine energy in deck, the twenty-three card deck. Okay, so we do start this time, and we are going first. Do we start EV water energy? We do not, but that's okay. We got actually a really good hand, so we can get the turn one ability lock. Providing we get a water off the sycamore. Okay, so top decking floatstones, not too impactful. Let's nest ball. Grab an Eevee. I didn't actually check what we're playing against. I see a Remoraid, so probably just gonna get an Eevee and a Lapras down. So, uh, is Lele in here? It is. One Trubbish Prized, one Cynthia, one Sycamore, one Choice Band, and that's it. And an energy looks like. Uh, how many DC do we have? Four. Okay, let's do that. I'll triple all these two. She might just grab another Eevee. We'll see what my opponent is playing before we get the Lapras out. Okay, Eevee, Floatstone, Choice Band, Sycamore, show us water. There's the water. And we did not draw all our Glaceons, thankfully. So let's do this. And we get our Glaceon out. Okay, great. So we got turn one ability lock. And we have a DC for next turn, so this is fantastic. Let's retreat. And we'll just pass it there. So you can see the strength of the card. So 
We can't Lele for Bridget here, has to open the Bridget in hand. Okay, we're playing against Buzzwolf. And they max looks it to the Red Rock, which probably means they play Multi Switch or Energy Switch or something like that. Uh, or they just have absolutely nothing in hand, which is also possible. Okay, so we've got the DC. We can evolve to Glaceon. We can Cynthia, because nothing else is useful. Okay, we got absolutely nothing useful there. So our old hand was better. Uh, so let's see. We can one hit that. Uh, can we one hit it through? Yes, we can one hit it through their attack. So let's Frost Bullet. We didn't get a Garb, unfortunately, so my opponent can get Octillery and get out of this. We don't know what's in their hand. They might have a Lele that they can't use. They might have an Ultra Ball that they're waiting to get Octillery with. So. We're going to race ahead pretty far here. So we are at risk of N. We see the Red Rock, Bedrock Press, 120. Uh, we can attach with DCE. Uh, let's try and get Garb out. In case they get an Octillery, we get Garb. Great, don't even have to Ultra Ball for it. So we do that. And so my opponent is totally locked right now. Uh, we can bench Lapras pretty safely. We've got Guzmas, and we can Polar Spear GX, which is a knockout uh, thanks to the Choice Band. And you can see the strength of the deck. I mean, my opponent could just have absolutely nothing, but they could also have, like, Lele and stuff, so... Um, so that is total ability lock. They would need a lot of cards to pull something off here. And, yep, so they scoop. Alright, that was a pretty quick game. Let's see if we can get one more. Okay guys, so my PTC duo cut out in a uh, Magnazone against a Magnazone deck and it was a really good match. Uh, so I've asked my friend Vig if he would like to play a game against me and we'll see how this deck stacks up against Magnazone because uh, that's obviously going to be the main concern uh, going into the format. This is probably Magnazone Necros is the best deck going forward. So. Uh, you, you definitely want to have at least a 50-50 matchup against it. Okay, so we're going first, which is great. So we'll start. So yeah, Vig's, Vig's a great player from New Zealand. Uh, he day two Worlds last year. So he knows what he's doing, and we have an atrocious hand. So let's see what happens here. Okay, thankfully he mulligans. Uh, yeah, so I've asked him to play the Magnazone deck because... I said, that's the best deck, so we want to we want to see that in this video. Okay, we draw two, we get a supporter, good news. Okay, we get a DCE, so I think we're just going to do this and N and hope to get Ultra Ball Water or Eevee Water. Because our hand's garbage. Genesect might be an issue. Oh my gosh. Right, so that did not go well. Um, I'm just gonna pass here, I think. Now let's get out an Eevee. Ah, uh, that was super annoying. Because, yeah, I didn't know if Lele was in deck, and indeed it is not. That's the problem with running one Lele. You would just end brick sometimes. So let's do that. So no energy. Let's see, does he have Lele for Bridget? He's got an energy. And, oh, he's got nothing as well. Okay, so we have a DC and nothing else. 
So he can manually power up and absolutely smoke us. Um, I'm going to put the garb down because potentially we can stop him from doing anything. Um, and we'll just retreat the Glaceon and pass. So, I mean, if he hits, I mean, he's going to win probably. As long as he has an energy in hand to attach. We can't one-shot this Genesect. Yep, so he's got an energy. So we're gonna get need to get pretty lucky here. Ultra Ball. So we would have had Lele. Uh, unfortunately, we have drawn absolute garbage here. So the Garbodor shuts off the bench barrier that the Magnemite has, or solid unit, whatever it's called. Okay, we top deck water. So let's just do this. Frost bullet. Um, oh, sure, let's hit the Magnemite. And he's gonna get a carrot. Net. He's got N, so yep, definitely gonna get a KO. Uh, there's no way he whiffs energy here. Yep, okay, cool. So he gets a knockout. I mean, it's not too terrible for us. We're gonna end him down to four, and we've got Garb up. So we just need to sack something here. So we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll put Mewtwo up. Mewtwo can take a hit. Uh, and we obviously block our own energy evolution. So let's just end. And we find absolutely no energy. Wow. Okay, this is not going well. Uh, we can retreat. I mean, we're still, we're still fine here. I'm going to get another Eevee. Uh, probably going to stick him on next turn, so... Just got these two. I'm going to get another Eevee in case he has... Guzma or something. To knock out my only attacker. And let's pass. So we are breaking hard here. Fortunately for us, uh, Vig sort of bricked as well. He's got Flitstone, he's got Sycamore, so if he finds Blower, that's not going to be good for us. Take another Magnemite. Okay, so we need Aquapatch. Glaceon DC, so not super likely doable. We run for our Aqua Patch, so look, it's possible as long as we don't top deck an Aqua Patch here. Get a DC, cool. Let's see, can I knock this out with Mewtwo? Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 90 for resistance. Is that right? Uh, 20, 40, 60, 40, 60, 80, 110, and 90 for resistance. Yeah, so that's a knockout. So let's just do that. Let's save our EVs. Okay. So let's shuffle. We can Ultra Ball away. Uh, I'm going to do this um, because I want to keep a Trubbish around in case it gets KO'd. So we can patch it up. And let's Psychic. Hey, Mewtwo. Alright, cool. So 
back in the game, guys. So, I mean, yeah, we can't, we can't get a knockout. So, like, ideally, we could get, like, a Guzma and knock out both Magnemites, because Garbodor is blocking uh, the solid unit ability. So, I'm not sure how many Blower Vig's playing. I'm sure he's playing at least two, because we've talked about it. Uh, but it can be very hard to find two Blower at the right time. So we're going all right here. Uh, he's going to use the Radiant Star. He's got Skylar, so he's going to go and get a Blow or a Magnezone. Or a Rare Candy, sorry. Cynthia. Okay. So he must have good stuff in hand. Man, this is such a good card. The Soul Galea Prison. So good. Okay, so what's the plan here? We're down three patches. Wow. Guzma. We don't have an attacker though. Um, actually, let's do this. So we can attach here. We can Guzma this guy. And let's get the first hit on it. Set it up for a KO. We need to draw Double Colors and Glaceon. He's not going to Sycamore. He's not going to end, I don't think. There's no way that he can tell that we have a Sycamore in hand. Ooh, Fury Belt. All right. That makes life interesting. We're going to be able to Claw Slash here for a knockout. So the question is, can we power enough attackers to win this game? So you can see how good the garb's been here. Okay, so can we do it? Get a water. Ugh. I was just sick of more. Do you see? Hmm, a lot of floodstones. Not much else. So we're gonna have to GX here and then hope that he doesn't have a way to knock out this Glaceon. Uh, we'll drop Eevee. No, everything survives a claw slash except Eevee. Uh, but I'm gonna get N, so I don't wanna draw into this. I want to keep my blowers around, uh, I mean my float stones around, in case. Okay, so we whack him for 450 damage. Can he respond? So he needs... So actually if we get a DC here, we can take out both Magnemites to win the game. N. So Sycamore and Cynthia, great news. Radiant Star. Oh man, can we win it? Can we clutch it out against Magnezone and Necrozma? Oh, it's so close. Okay, we get a water, which is good. We can start powering up another Glaceon. And let's Sycamore and really thin the deck down if we can. Okay, let's get our second Garb out. Oh, um, I'm anticipating N here, so I just need to get an attack off. So, Lower this. Um, 
to remove one floatstone. Okay. So we can frost bullet here. Knock out this guy. And it's on Vic to try and stop us from winning here. PC is a good draw for the prize, so let's see if we can win it. Ultra Ball. Let's see, fine, so you had the Lele, so the Glaceon plus Garb doing its job. Find some Magnemite. So he's gonna have to maybe find Blower. There's a lot of cards here. He can retreat to prolong his life by one turn. He does. And 160 HP is just out of range for two snipes. Sun Eclipse GX. Ouch. Okay, things just got pretty hairy. Um, can we draw Guzma off the top to win? Guzma off the top to win. Wow. That was pretty nuts. So, I mean, Big will find out in the video that that was off the top. Um, but yeah, that's the game guys. So you can see how powerful the deck is. Uh, we definitely could have lost there if we didn't top deck, uh, because he would have just needed an energy to win. But I mean, we didn't get off to the greatest starts. We had to use Mewtwo to attack. Um, so, uh, pretty strong deck. So thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Please subscribe if you did, and we will see you in the next one. Cheers.